If I have a living trust or revocable trust, why do I also need a will? This is a common question that we get and a very worthwhile one to ask because it doesn't really make sense, right? If we have a trust, why do we need a will? We never use the will. The idea is as background, a revocable trust or a living trust are really are it is the tool of choice that most people are utilizing to avoid probate meaning if you have assets in a living trust or a revocable trust upon your passing you are the, for those assets you do not have to go through the probate court process to get those assets to your next of kin or your heirs right and if you just rely on a will, everything a will is a one-way ticket to probate court. A will does not avoid probate. A will is useless, does not work until you actually present it to a judge, which means you're hiring a lawyer to walk you through that court process to make all that happen. A living trust or revocable trust allows you to avoid that. So if we have a living trust, why have a will? The idea being that when you hire a law firm such as ours for your estate planning needs anywhere in the state of Florida, and we're talking about avoiding probate, we're going to be focused on that revocable trust. And if you have real estate, we're going to be helping you deed that real estate into the trust so it's in the trust upon your passing. And if you have other financial assets like bank accounts, brokerage accounts, life insurance, 401ks, IRAs, life insurance, right? All the, all, any other financial asset, we're gonna be coaching you through how to get those assets into your trust. And the idea is, and every trust we do has what we call a pour over will, or, or just an, it's just a will that comes along with every trust. We will not do a trust without a will that comes with it. And the reason is we have this will hoping we'll never have to use it but we wanna have the will, the last will and testament, just in case. So here's the, the maybe typical scenario, right? After you're done working with the estate planning attorney, all of your assets will be in that trust. And so you won't have to, you won't need the will if those assets stay as is. But things change, right? And a number of things can happen. You might buy a new property. You might find a new bank account that has a very attractive interest rate that it provides you. Or maybe you meet a financial advisor who convinces you that, you know, their investment protocol is going to make you make you tons of money. But whatever the case is, if you buy new assets or you open up new bank accounts and you forget about your trust, right? You forget to put the account in the name of the trust or you forget to name the trust as the pay on death beneficiary, then those assets could conceivably remain in your your estate upon your passing, meaning you're now relying on the will. And you, for those assets, you do have to open up a probate. So it's not uncommon for people to pass away and have some of their assets not have to go through probate because it's in a trust or otherwise passes without having to go through the probate court system. And other assets, whether they're after acquired or were never put in the trust in the first place, not be in the trust when the owner passes and so if they're not in the trust and there's no other pay on death designation it's going through probate and we want a will because we want to make sure that your intentions are honored the will might very simply say everything goes into my trust and my trust will control what happens from there but if you're relying on the will if the asset's not already in the trust upon your passing or if the, if the trust isn't listed as a pay on death beneficiary you will unfortunately or you're not you your heirs unfortunately will have to go through the probate court process and certainly if you're in Florida, we can help with that, right? And we try to make that as painless as possible. But the goal is to plan and to avoid having to go through probate altogether. But just in case something happens after you're done utilizing our firm, we want to make sure we have that last will and testament in place. So again, no matter what the situation is, no matter how you are, no matter the status of your assets upon your passing, your wishes are honored. So hope that makes sense why even if you're relying on a trust, still makes sense to have a last will and testament. If you or your loved ones, anyone in the state of Florida and is interested in talking more about estate planning, Medicaid planning, probate, probate avoidance, please give us a call, set up a consultation. If you think this video was useful and practical, please give it a thumbs up, please share it, please subscribe to the channel so we can get lots of good information out to Floridians everywhere. Thank you.